Here we have just a really beautifully sculpted paleo story stone, likely Clovis, although could be pre-Clovis, um, rhyolite carved plaque, uh, face and mammoth effigy found on the surface in the Calico Hills, Mojave Desert, California. And it's just a beauty. This large rhyolite stone uh, is amongst many that are scattered about the surface of the Calico Hills and around the perimeter of Pleistocene Lake Mannix. This is depicting an outstanding, outstanding mammoth. This eye has been all sculpted in there. It's all been flaked out and smoothed out some. And then this is the baby trunk, the trunk of the mammoth here, with its hair tuft here. And all that's been flaked, sculpted there. Now, all around the perimeter, this piece has been sculpted to form these mammoth images. We also have a face looking up from the back of the mammoth, which is a really good face. Um, it's an eye here, a nose, and a mouth down here, looking off to the left. And it's actually pretty much a horned shaman, because I believe they wanted this and this, which is the front and back legs of a mammoth that we'll see pretty soon when we turn it in that direction. That could be a horned shaman head looking off to the left. I've noticed in the Calico Hills, horned shaman are depicted quite, quite often, really, uh, in these story stones. They, they did have quite a fixation on horned shaman uh, in the Calico Hills story stone effigies. Now, when we turn it this way, now we have another great mammoth with, again, this area carved out here, the eye, this is the hair tuft, and this is the baby trunk here. Looking off to the left, this, this area here that's been pecked, flaked out can also be an eye of a mammoth looking off to the left. Now, when we look at it this way, this is really an outstanding mammoth image. Th this again can be the eye of the mammoth. This is its big trunk, front legs, back legs, and the, the face looking off from the back of the mammoth. Just outstanding creativity in how they uh, were able to understand the geometry of, of the carving of these effigies and image three different mammoth images on one side of this stone. Now, this side was the face down side uh, that was uh, laying in uh, Pleistocene beach sands, iron-rich beach sands, uh, and stained orange. The other side, this is huge, by the way, big and heavy. The other side here, we have another, another fantastic mammoth image with this eye flaked out, big sweeping trunk coming down to the left. Wow, what an old, big old mammoth. This is front legs and back legs. And this is the uh, desert varnish side that's been face up for 12, 14,000 years or more. And then we have the eye of the mammoth here. This is the brow ridge here and the hair tuft above the head with the trunk sweeping down to the right. This can also be a big eye flaked out there, worked out, smoothed out. This has been sculpted. And this is rhyolite. It's been pecked and sculpted. And then when we look at it this way, wow, what another great mammoth. With this, the trunk here looking off to the left. And this the eye here, and also this eye has been worked out. A lot of this has been worked along here. In fact, I think there's a petroglyph here of these dots with the headdress and an Indian face with this the eye and the nose looking off this way. Kind of a pictogl pictoglyph right there of a face looking off to the right. Anyway, it's a beautifully carved, etched, rhyolite, calico hills, paleo, face and mammoth effigy.